Out of the 12 executive committee members, only six are in service of the company. The other six have either been suspended or have resigned. The head of human resources told the commission that he was called to a board meeting in the early hours of the morning. This is where he was told to issue suspension letters to two employees, the head of listed investments, Fidelis Madavo and Victor Seani, an assistant portfolio manager. The PIC says a preliminary investigation report has shown a blatant flouting of governance and approval processes of the fund manager in relation to the IO technology deal. The PIC paid 4.3 billion rands to take up full initial public offering of IO. There was a discussion in reference to a um, suspension that I needed to, to serve um, this morning. Uh, which dealt with, I believe, an outcome of a report from internal audit. Um, the details, uh, I, I, I was not privy to those details. The, the, that's what I wanted to ask you. You were not presented with the report? No, no, I was not presented with the report. And there was also another employee um, within the uh, listed uh, that also I had to serve the suspension also this morning. One of those served with suspension letters is Fidelis Madavo. He told the commission that he was suspended despite the transaction having happened when he was overseas at the time the transaction happened. There was an internal audit uh, you know, um, investigation into the IO transaction um, and uh, as head of uh, the division uh, they found it uh, proper to suspend me with immediate effect. Further investigations will be ongoing. I must not talk to PIC employees. Madavo told the commission that he was not aware of any impropriety at the PIC. The commission continues on Wednesday with the head of internal audit at the PIC, Lufuno Nemagovani, expected to take the stand. Durasa Fagomusi, SABC News, Pretoria.